Hello, 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 and welcome to Zarnok Gaming. Today we are taking a look at Thaddeus Noble, Master of Ordnance, uh, range support unit of the Astra Militarum. Uh, and we got a lot that we like about Thaddeus. I got a lot that I love about Thaddeus. He's absolutely one of my favorite heroes. Uh, you just saw a montage of him just destroying enemy teams in arena he's so much fun to play with uh, it's a little bit rng heavy which makes it more entertaining in my opinion um and uh he's just he's really good he can also do really good damage on guild raid and we're going to be taking a look at him his player level and then we're going to be doing a thaddeus noble giveaway that is a full 120 shards to unlock thaddeus noble if you do not have him and we'll be talking about that more later in the video here uh first let's go right ahead and, and take a look at his, some of his stats at max rare uh max rare is where we're gonna where we're gonna look at most units right now uh simply because uh, silver rank 2 is our cap, so I can't look at max epic because we don't go up to gold rank 1 yet. Um, as you can see, he has 459 damage. I believe that's 59. Yeah, 642 health. He is a 3x3 three three unit, meaning he's got 3 range and 3 movement. And uh, he also has, he's a 3x3x3 three by three by three unit. He also has 3 hits of blast damage at range which is relatively low peers, uh, 15%, I believe, might be 20. Um, but it's definitely, uh, he's a high damage, low pierce unit. So we see some negative effects of that as we get like onto higher level guild bosses or more armored enemies. But for any weaker, lower armor enemy, he just absolutely packs a punch. It's very hard. Uh, Basilisk Barrage is a fantastic active ability. He drops five artillery shells out of the sky as long as he hasn't moved yet this turn. Do not try moving him and using it. Uh, and he goes ahead and he can use that on turn one of Arena against clustered enemies. And as you've seen, just do tons and tons of damage. Uh, his passive, not so great. Spotter increasing uh, damage of the heavy weapons trait. Take a look here. So definitely nothing fantastic. I mean, over 100 damage at max rare per hit on a multi-hit unit such as, say, Vindicta, who can hit for three to four hits depending on what she's using, can definitely be powerful, but not necessarily my favorite skill out there. Kind of like a lot of passives that we see with Yarrick, with uh, uh, Aleph Newell, with Makotep. There's a lot of passives out there that if a hero has a good active, they tend not to have a very good passive. Uh, and of course, he he uh, he does not need line of sight. One of the coolest things about Thaddeus Noble is he can be on the backside of a cliff. Uh, he can be completely out of line of sight on the opposite side of a boulder. He can avoid overwatch and then still hit. He also suppresses fire. Uh, has suppressing fire with all of his hits, including his active, meaning that not only does he cancel out Overwatch, but he decreases the movement of the enemy team. So in Arena, if he hits and doesn't kill with it on turn one with his Basilisk Barrage, they get reduced movement, they can't get to your team, and that allows you to follow up the sweep against the AI, which, as we know, can be very easy already as it is. Um, Taking a look, comparing him to some of our other units, we got Sirtis here. Oh, lost that. Yeah. Here we go. Sorry about that. Hit a bad button. So, looking at uh, Sirtis here, uh, we are looking at 665 damage, which is, uh, what we got, just... About one and a half times the amount of damage that Thaddeus has, but only one hit. And Bolter's only 20% pierce. So, uh, obviously, Sirtis has a heavy weapon tray, which then increases his damage by a percentage uh, when he hasn't moved yet, including for his Overwatch. He also only has two movement. As far as uh, Imperial ranged uh, damaging units are concerned. I definitely think Thaddeus outweighs him there. Uh, Volk is obviously a very unique hero. He's got low damage uh, and high number of hits. And his uh, flesh metal guns, his passive, can increase his pierce up to something like 70%. So, But even then, uh, 6 out of 100 
even with a higher Pierce ratio uh, to compensate, doesn't really compare to three on 489. I mean, if you're attacking a lower health, uh, lower armor boss at all, you're obviously going to be far superior uh, using Thaddeus Noble. Snapareka is somebody I haven't looked at comparing before. Uh, he's got the three hit. He, it, them, the little Dalek guy that he is, has a 241 damage and a three hit uh, range. But of course, at DACA, if he's uh, going at a range of two, he gets extra hits and hits for five hits instead, uh, making him very unique. He's got a decent amount of health, decent amount of armor. Um, definitely arguably comparable to Thaddeus, except for that he just doesn't have an active that compares, in my opinion. The, the five-hit active of Thaddeus Noble, the infinite range, hitting across the board, uh, he's just phenomenal. And he's actually got a little bit more armor than Snapareka, so he's a decently tanky unit. Uh, taking a look at his abilities in Guild Raid, right? Uh, this is against a uncommon ground boss. And without high ground, we're looking at 1,300 damage, 19 per hit, almost 2k per hit from high ground against an uncommon boss. Uh, against a rare boss, we are looking at damage numbers of uh, not much lower. Uh, we couldn't get a high ground picture on this run but that would only be 200 lower from even kill ground so about 300 lower from high ground probably about 1700 um now because he's got such low pierce uh we do know that as the guild raid bosses get tougher his damage is going to suffer dramatically, maybe more than some of our higher piercing ranged units. Although as far as like range three units are concerned, there's not a lot of better units except for perhaps bulk. Uh, with every turn that passes by, the Basilisk Barrage gets more accurate. So by the final turn of a guild raid, you can actually guarantee hits from all five shells right onto a guild raid boss and get some significant damage from that as well. If you have your hero, you know, maxed out on actives, if you haven't spent all your badges on Yark or, or you've gotten Yark up to the next year and now you have leftover rares and you can start reinvesting them. Um, obviously, a lot of people like Celesteem for their second use of Imperial badges. I just don't have a spot for her on my team with Makotep, Archie, Alf, Newell, and, uh, and Yark. So Thaddeus... Uh, having that range gives him the ability to have much more utility for me. Um, and we look at this is against a legendary boss. Uh, legendary 2 ground boss of the current season. So obviously 200 damage is not much. Uh, we know that we're doing most of our damage against Gilbray bosses with summons that have outscaled our hero's current gear availability. But if we were looking at a diamond rank three instead of a max rare, uh, obviously he would be able to pack the same sort of punch he can pack on a rare boss right now. So uh, by increasing his damage. Taking a look at his level, Fall of Cadia 45. Uh, we got a couple of different strats. Obviously uh, the Corodia strat is the easiest. You can go ahead and you can connect with uh, Harkin on turn one on Thaddeus Noble. You can avoid his active altogether. For being one of the absolute favorite heroes for a lot of people I see, I talk about him on the Discord. He's got one of the easiest boss fights out there if you have Corodius unlocked. And so we'll take a look at that real quick. Uh, we got a couple of laser cannons so we can move Angrax uh, up to soak the hits from the Overwatch and just bang. Thaddeus is gone. The entire map is kind of clean up after that. If you get lucky with some crits, you can probably almost never get hit. Uh, crit, critting the cannons with Archie. And we work our way right through. Angrax actually causes a bunch of flea in this run of mine. And that wraps it. However, I know that that is not going to work for everyone. So you can take a look here at what I'm working with. Um, low to mid bronze ranks. Iron ranks still for... Uh, my death guards I'm bringing along. So the question is, if you're completely free to play, you only have your three uh, event mode unlockable heroes, how do you play this? Uh, I still go Harkin in front. 
and I connect with the uh, Vox Summoner right away after I still soak with Angrax. And now we don't have any um, additional red flare bombardments coming down. And actually, uh, Thaddeus comes over to connect with Angrax right away and doesn't use his active, uh, which is great. Now, all we have to do is get Angrax out of there so he doesn't die. Unfortunately, you can see the down arrow on Angrax. He has been suppressed by Thaddeus' suppressive fire. So he has a reduced movement of one. So we have to go ahead and watch uh, how we're going to get out. We move Harkin in a little bit, get a crit off, and try to move out. We still take one hit, but we survive it. And after that, we're pretty much cleaning up. We go through, and now Thaddeus uses his active, but my Harkin can take the hit. Uh, takes him out, and I wrap it up with uh, with our tomatoes. So there's a couple of strategies there for uh, Fall of Cadia 45, which I know a lot of us are getting to right now. Um, and uh, that's kind of all I have to say about Thaddeus Noble. Uh, I, again, he's one of my favorite heroes. I think he has great utility. So let's talk about how you guys can get him. It's pretty simple. I know you guys have seen some giveaways happen before. All we're looking for is that you like, comment, and you have to be subscribed. If you're not subscribed to the channel, when I click on you after you comment, you're not going to get added to the Wheel of Names. And then we will be in about a week here, uh, maybe sometime next week, and be doing a... Uh, a wheel of names spin. I will record it so that everyone can see it happen, and we'll find out who's going to who's going to win a uh, free 120 Thaddeus Noble shards. So I'm very excited being able to be able to uh, do the giveaway here for you guys. Uh, hopefully, I can get somebody a Thaddeus who doesn't have him. Uh, hopefully it's not just for someone who already has Thaddeus unlocked to promote him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I uh, I appreciate you guys checking out my video and. Uh, Please like, subscribe, comment, and I can't wait to do the giveaway video next week. Thanks, guys, and happy hunting.